If you're watching this video, it's already too late. You're dead. You've been dead since the moment you failed your last death save. So now what? Well, that depends on just how you bit the dust. If you were given a sudden dirt nap by a lich, a devourer, or anyone else capable of putting your soul in a jar, well, <laughs> you're fucked. Because you get no afterlife, and you don't get to come back. Do us both a favor, go outside, and destroy that character sheet. Because you're done with that idiot. But what if you were killed by an undead? Well, lucky for you, you're coming right back to us, as one of them. Undeath isn't always what you were planning, but nonetheless, it happens. It's like getting robbed if you throw dying into the mix. It happens to everyone but you. And also, sometimes you. Now if you get to skip past the ugly bits of those unfortunate priors, congratulations! You're going to heaven. Or the afterlife. Or hell. If you're not sure where you're headed, go ahead and look at the tear-soaked page in your hand. Now look at the alignment. Were you a bad guy? Were you a real piece of shit? Then we're dropping your ass to the lower planes to get poked in the butt by demons. No joke. Check the outer planes for those two little letters that match your twisted heart, you ruffian. Were you a super cool dude? Like, could you and I sit down, have some brewskis, and, you know, you pay the tab? Then you're going to heaven. The upper planes are where everyone wants to go, pearly gates and virgins as far as the eye can see. If you end up in Elysium or Mount Celestia, you might as well toss the sheet for this guy too, because he won't want to go anywhere ever again. Even your deceased, chaotic neutral, half-elf rogue with um, 15 magic items and a very tragic background, gets his own special place in limbo. Let's say you got lucky and landed a good afterlife with a deity who's okay with you sticking around at his crib. For you merry dead, your story can end here. But what's that? Your friends need you back home? They're trying to resurrect your mortal soul? Well, if old age dealt the killing blow, get comfortable, because that's not happening. Your clerics can only pull you back out if you didn't expire like day-old milk. Now for those of you who went to Hades or some black pit, it's easy to say yes and grab that one up. But you blessed suckers have two options. You can either jump back into that flesh sack for round two, or give your buddies the middle finger and go watch an eternal sunset. But oh no, some of you were like me, on a Friday night watching The Office on Netflix for the tenth time with nothing but a brief interaction with the pizza guy to keep me company. You died alone. No party, no backup plan. That one goblin who rolled max damage on a crit, and that one you who rolled a nat 1 on their second death save. The most likely outcome is you staying dead. Put that character sheet in a paper boat made from his own spells, let her float and set that thing on fire. Give that slip of paper the good old Viking send-off. But you can't die! The world needs you! If that were true, you'd be a ghost or revenant with actual unfinished business. But you want to believe in second chances. You need to write that bucket list before you can kick it. Don't worry friends, there's always hope for your dead ass! Now, there's a couple things you can do with that expired soul of yours. Lost in the afterlife with nothing much to do outside of mastering solitaire and basket weaving. First thing you can do is try talking to the dude who has the final say on where your soul goes. Keep in mind, a yes might mean he wants you to do something when you get back. But if he says no, or you're just too plain scared of the guy, you can always make a break for it. Go look for a lord or lady with some solid magic, or take some time and find a planar gate. If you make it out of the frying pan of destiny and into the fire of the unknown, you're halfway back home. How you get all the way back, and just how the heck you get a new body is your own business. At this point, for those of you who just weren't ready to die yet, and got a get out of jail free card, revivination, a deity's blessing, resurrection, all that good stuff, I'll give you a heads up. Coming back hurts. A lot. Imagine not having a nerve system or a fleshy brain. That's no pain, no fear, no hunger or need for sleep either. Sounds pretty great, right? Well, tough titties because it's all coming back when you do. It'll take some time to relearn how to steer your old meat mobile again, but when you do, I'd suggest taking better care of it this time around. But if you stopped at undeath, permadeath, or the afterlife, I don't know why you're still here. 
Like, go figure out a new character. Get get the heck out of here. Go play D&D. The video's over.